We got Dan and Mark, the pond guy, here to build what's right now currently gonna be, I think, I don't know, I wouldn't say it's my favorite design. It's probably gonna be in my favorite design for one reason. We are actually gonna put trout. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> live <laughs> trout. Live trout in this thing. This is gonna be one amazing water feature, and hopefully, we can do a little fishing at the end. <laughs> so we're here to pick some trees. Yeah, we'll pick them out. I got logs here, I got logs there, I got logs there. What do you need? This is like a kid in a candy store, isn't it, awesome. buddy? Yeah. All right, you ready to see what I brought you, buddy? Let's see what we got. What do you think, Pops? You think your son's gonna be happy? Cool. Yes. We're at Chicago O'Hare picking up the Hart family, the next artist of the year up in the Sandbox studio. And I am playing Stan today, our driver. Alrighty, let's see where they are. Yeah, there they are. What's up, Harp Clan? <laughs> I love it. Alright. What's up, Daddy O? How you doing, Mark? Doing awesome. Awesome. There's Dan. What's up, Greg? You brought the muscle. I see Heather's here. Oh, Heather's here, yeah. All right. The Come look, on, Antonio's jump in, here. Heather. What's up, Antonio? Beat your heart out, Stan. I can do your job any day. On the guy on the other side, the Tom Brady works it down the field. They struggle and have to punt. This is how happy I am to see you. I'm missing the NFC Championship game of Brady versus Rogers to pick you guys up. Next stop, Aqualand. Let's go. Hey guys, Brian Team Aquascape. It's awesome. It's week four. Monday is always a fun day for me because we're rested over a weekend, which means we've regained our energy and ready to work with the next artist of the year, which by the way happens to be that guy and those guys back over there. We got Dan. Dan and Mark, the pond guy, all the way out from Seattle, Washington, here to build what's right now currently gonna be, I think, I don't know, I wouldn't say it's my favorite design. It's probably gonna be in my favorite design for one reason. We are actually gonna put trout. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> live trout. Live trout in this thing. So we are gonna build a trout stream, and I cannot wait to see what Dan and Mark, his dad, have come up with. And I'm just, I'm just really, truly excited. I, it's jumbling my words because I don't know what to say. <laughs> Dan, why don't you walk us through a little bit about what you're thinking? And you've been thinking about this now for a few weeks because like, what was it, a month ago, three weeks ago, you asked if I can get a heater to get the water up to like 140 degrees or something and 104. He wants to do a hot springs of yeah, sorts. We're gonna do a hot spring over here, right here up against the fire pit area. And then we're gonna start a like a natural spring kind of look. So mossy, upwelling look. That site over there where it begins, by the man cave, we're gonna do just an upwelling spring, waterfalls, just a, a mass mix of major waterfalls, like little little drippy moss rock. Oh, water. awesome. And then it all, it'll all come down by the tree and then drop into a deep river, really. I wanted to have like a lot of current. Make it look like the house and all this was built around the river that was here. So again, we've got our shed done by the Shedsters. We've got the facade of this thing, <laughs> the house over here. And Dan is so much like myself, so much like the other artists of the year. The idea is to make it look like the shed, the house, everything was positioned to take advantage of this natural spring that just kind of cut right through the property. Not really trying to hide the fact that there's a house in a she shed, man cave, unit shed, whatever you want to call it, but gender neutral shed. Just kind of work to adapt those into the, the setting, which is going to be fantastic. So we'll get some paint and start marking this out so you guys can really see the space that we're going to be taking up from way back there all the way over into here to where the hot spring is going to sit. This is going to be one amazing amazing water feature and hopefully we can do a little fishing at the end. <laughs> Make it probably the deepest two, two and a half feet. This end of the section up here will be like a pebbly going current, around. Current, current, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 White water. Okay. This could be a hot spring, so this will be elevated a little bit. We'll pop those two rocks, you know, um, this will actually be the last thing we're going to do because we'll use this spot for access. But we'll take that, just about that level of the rock there, bring that around. Are we going to plumb this into this so it's flowing out? Yeah. So this will be like a, just a drippy rock posse wall uh, going into the river. And from there we'll come up, river, river, do 
either some boulders over there or a small patio. Do like a grass grass river bank over here, and then we'll do some stepping stones across. This section here, we'll do like a, a nice dramatic waterfall. Another waterfall over there. We're gonna give the illusion that this stream river starts over there and just goes through the property and all this is built around it. All this section up here is going to be a couple of major waterfalls and some bossy, drippy rock stuff, things and stuff like this. Mm -hmm. I love how we can't tell where it's going to end, right? It's going to disappear underneath this. I love how the way we kind of designed it over there, we're not going to see where it starts. By putting that big S curve in the stream, we can landscape it in a way that the water looks like it started from 10 miles away. It'll be pretty narrow up in there. And as it gets closer and closer in here, just like rivers in nature, they get wider and wider deeper and deeper. As we get into this, we're gonna try to create different elevations with log jams and undercut this and that. We'll drop in some big boulders underneath. Add we're, some current with some power. Yeah, we can add tons of current. The hardest part for me is gonna be this, the hot spring area right here with the elevation coming up to here on this. We're gonna have to create some stone steps, dropping us up in here, and then probably a couple stone steps coming back down in because you're not really gonna see what's in here by the time we put our foggers and have, I think we'll do aggressive aeration yeah. like we'll get like Boy, six I mean. of the the big pro 60 aerators but we'll get like six of those things in here and then with the fog like this will be aggressive it will be kind of cool but just a little bit of water just dripping through some moss coming back into here logistically i think it's going to be a little challenging so we're going to want to move these boulders right away this is going to be our in and out we'll start digging over here right away all the dirt can go over there and we're going to try to get most of this stream and waterfall done up until the point where that machine can start helping us from the backside. But I love the look of it. I mean, it's like a river cutting right through an existing property. So they bought this house because they were on a river. They said, hey, let's do a bridge over to kind of a hangout place because they had this natural trout stream and they're taking advantage of the natural trout stream. So it's gonna be really cool. Lots of plumbing, but fun rock work. And I think creative rock placement and log placement and stuff as we start thinking about what the fish do. Any questions? All right, let's grab a... <laughs> Working <laughs> on the machine. You want to jump off and go get the wood? All right. Yeah, isn't this nice? So this gate is locked, so we're not going to pull in here. So this is Abbott Tree Care right here, and he has got a yard full of stuff. So we're going to go pick, some, pick up some nice stuff for the boys back there, Mark. Hey Mike, well, if I'm the pond guy, what's that make you, the tree? The tree guy, but I think somebody else probably already came up with that. You know? <laughs> so we're here to pick some trees. Yeah, we'll pick them out. I got logs here, I got logs there, I got logs there. What do you need logs? This is like a kid in a candy store, isn't it, buddy? You ready to see what I brought you, buddy? Let's see what we got. What do you think, Pops? You think your son's gonna be happy? Too cool. Yes. Ah, <laughs> not bad, huh? You can use that, huh? Sure. So don't worry. Give you some perspective on the size of these things.
Dan and Ed, I got some good news. I just got off the phone with Gordy at Max McGraw Wildlife nice. Center. He said, bring our seine net. On Friday morning, we can go get some trout. Sweet. <laughs> as big as we want them. They got some big boys over there. That's awesome. Gordy's the man. Yes, he is. <laughs> so you got to set up our transport. First structure going into the trout pond. Super excited. I say that a lot, right? Super excited. But there's something about the first stone, the first piece of wood. Hey, Mark, or Antonio, the trees. Oh. <laughs> Whether it's a stone, whether it's a giant piece of wood, the first piece is always the most exciting. It kind of feels like it always sets the tone for what the rest of the project's gonna go like. So let's see how Dan handles the first one. No pressure, Dan. Back. 